Okay, now we're in Blender. Moving on to the actual scene. Now we've opened new uh, scene in Blender, right? And we can just go ahead and delete everything. This is not gonna be a step-by-step -step guide and uh, it's not a beginner's guide. It's basically an intermediate guide. You should know how Blender works and the basic tools. And um, this is gonna be more of a workflow or a uh, what goes on in the mind of a 3D artist course so that you know you know the basic tools but you just don't know how to use them yet. So this is will this will be the tutorial to tell you how to use your tools to make a nice render. Now, um, as I showed you in the last part, we're going to be trying to recreate these two images. Now, the first thing about making a 3D scene is blocking out your scene. It really helps in uh, focusing on one object and getting an overview of what you're going to be making. So let's go ahead and start right off and I'm going to just make a plane and scale it five times. Actually, just a more. Yeah. This can be our scene. This can be our whole scene and I can add stuff onto this plane as required. Now I'm going to use a cube to represent my phone booth that's going to be on the ground here and uh, might be able to just expand this a bit and this is going to be the road and this is the phone booth's going to be on the sidewalk somewhere around here and i can just block it out now we're going to have a road in the in the background now if we can just scale this up let's say that this is going to be the road and then we're going to have a building or something similar to it in the background so we're just going to move this here scale it up and just go ahead and move this over there so this is the outline of the buildings maybe we have a buildings tall buildings and these skyscrapers and then there are going to be some shops and stuff in the back and the street lights and stuff so we don't need to make the street lights and everything but now we have an image maybe we can make another cube scale it up a lot and put it in the background over here somewhere and maybe duplicate it and have another one over here just to kind of show you that there are supposed to be skyscrapers in the background and we also want to set our camera angle so if I'm trying to go with this kind of a camera angle scene but I, I like this angle like pointing upwards so you can see the skyscrapers and everything but our main attention and main focus will be the telephone booth so I don't want to go too high so Let's say this is the telephone booth and uh, let me actually create a camera. Okay, so now we're in camera view. And if I just switch camera to view, now this is our ca uh, telephone booth. <coughs> That's our skyscrapers. Now you might be able to tell that uh, the issue normally is with these kinds of scene is the scale. And of, you don't get a nice uh, idea of how far the image is and how far the buildings are so in this kind of situation it's best to just eyeball it and if you have reference like we do we can just uh, use that and modify our scene as required now let's say our uh, let's say that we need to see our buildings and uh, the road so I like um, this kind of scene. We could actually, we have a few uh, options that we could use. If we're going to do camera settings, we could make this uh, a portrait uh, view instead of a landscape view like this. We could make it portrait view just like this. I am actually going to be going with um, a landscape view because um, it's going to be in animation and 
animations do look better with the uh, landscape view so I'm going to keep the resolution as it is but I will change the focal length now the focal length helps with depth of field and it also helps with showing how far or what the distance is between two objects <coughs> excuse me now um, if we adjust the focal length and increase it it'll make it seem as the distance between the telephone booth and the buildings is uh, like very little but if we decrease the focal length then you can kind of see how far the camera is from the telephone booth and how far that is from the buildings so we want to keep a focal length that is in between both of these but not too much I think um, actually maybe if we use a wider angle lens 35 millimeter actually does not look that bad now if you just move these up higher I'm able to see them anyway so it doesn't really matter but let's say we expand these right because our camera is all the way over here and we want our phone booth to be closer to the camera and there needs to be a lot of distance between these we can actually move this further to create more distance now if we look through our camera our phone booth is right over here you can actually get closer and this is our uh, road plane and these are our buildings we can just scale that up it doesn't really matter right and this is then we can just add whatever we want over here um, now we do want to move our telephone booth a bit a little closer let's see and a little to the left somewhere over here not too much that looks good we don't even want to see the whole telephone booth actually since we will be panning our shot most likely so we can change the camera angle later but my idea is and uh, that maybe we start from around here with it in the with it in the side like over here and then we're kind of going to be zooming in to the telephone because uh, my idea of the animation is that there's going to be a the phone is going to be hung up and it's going to be hanging down with some kind of audio or clipping or some kind of voice that you can hear through the phone and making it seem as if uh, maybe someone has left in a <coughs> in a hurry or um, I don't know been taken or killed or something mysterious has happened and we don't know why <coughs> someone has just left the phone hanging we, uh, with the other guy talking and confused and afraid of what's happened and we're trying to give that kind of a vibe and uh, that's my idea so we need to set the scene first and then we're going to develop the story and what we want our audience to uh, perceive from this scene <coughs> now we have our basic um, what do you call it scene blocked out we have an idea of what we're going to do and uh, we have a basic layout and as we progress We'll be able to figure out the scene better and just see what looks better and what doesn't and we can improvise and change make changes as we go along now this isn't like the best <laughs> uh, blocking out but basically it just gives you an idea of where what's going to be and obviously we can move these more further away later or add more or add textures and stuff um, and maybe scale these kind of up and down according to what we think is the actual scale of the object now for scale we can use uh, this <clears throat> just a add an armature of a basic human now this is if we look at it it's about what is it called dimensions it's about 1.45 meters high no 1.98 meters high 1.45 meters 
uh, wide with the arms and that's about two meters about six foot so uh, a six foot tall person is about this big so our lamp uh, our uh, what do you call it uh, telephone booth should not be this big and uh, if we have a reference image maybe of a person standing in a telephone booth this is one and let's say she's like five five six so shouldn't be more than eight foot at max right eight feet so if we just add it from here if we'd like take it down and if we say like this is the person and this is about max height of the telephone booth that it should be at now this is just for reference, we don't need to do anything to it, don't need to change anything. But just to get an idea if that's how big um, a phone booth is, then <laughs> this is definitely, might be how big a tall skyscraper may be.